I am the person who started this tournament along with Mrs. Nader and Mr. Subhas Gupta 15 years back. And since then, continuously, this tournament is gaining, you know, heights. And from a mere 32 teams tournament, which was the first tournament, today we are seeing this thing that we have 152 teams and something like 300 plus pairs, which is a record as far as any tournament even in the world is concerned. So I will put now this uh, HCL tournament as one of the top tournaments in the world. I got associated with the management of this bridge and uh, throughout India now I basically take care of the technical management part and uh, in this particular 15th SCL tournament I am the head of operations and I have been taking care of the complete techno technological part as far as this tournament is concerned. I learned bridge at a very young age of nearly 17 years and uh, because my dad was in force, you know, armed force, so there, you know, it's a game which is played regularly. And when I passed out and became a professional, I am a professional software guy. After my career started, then I again started because I was posted to Gulf. And somehow what happened, I, we used to get a lot of time there. And uh, being a good player, I was lucky that I became partner of my Indian ambassador. And that, you know, started the complete flow. But when I came back to India, again, you know, I started playing full flesh. But my main interest actually started when I went uh, from uh, India back to Netherlands for a project. And Netherlands is really a main hub of bridge, okay? So there, not only I learned more about bridge, but I got the interest of this bridge management, the technical management part, because I learned a lot of things which we have not done in India. So there I found out this thing that what is a computer scoring software is there. So being a professional, you know, I picked up that, brought it to India. Now I have become an unlucky one who cannot play because everybody wants me to do that better. They say you do that thing better than, this, than playing. So, you know, <laughs> per force I have to do these duties now. In the first uh, three years of the tournament, we were getting something like 32 to 40 teams. And like any other Indian tournament uh, which we are having, Around, there, are, there are around five to six tournaments in India which are considered to be the top class tournament. But suddenly what happened in, uh, when we had a Commonwealth Games here. That time because the Commonwealth Games were you know, side by side of this tournament. So we invited all the teams who played the Commonwealth to come to this tournament. And that is you now started some interest, some more interest in the foreign teams. And they also thought this thing that okay, it's an excellent tournament and they can you know, earn good prize money also. So they started coming and suddenly we saw that from 40, we touched the mark of 90. And then from 90, last year we initiated another this thing that we considered it to be a totally international tournament. And we got 120 teams. And this time our target was 150. Okay, usually it is told this thing, achieving the target is not easy. But we were lucky enough to cross the target and make it 152. And now with this thing, I am sure this thing next year, 170 should not be a difficult task as far as this tournament is concerned. Foreigners are pretty happy about this tournament and they have already informed me that uh, this is having equal level as far as any tournament in Europe is concerned or even better than that because our hospitality is great. So no, you don't get that type of hospitality anywhere in Europe or for that matter in USA. So that is going to be a very great advantage here. And uh, if, if the foreigners him, themselves, you know, they start saying to other members, I'm sure uh, more teams will come. And uh, from this, last stage it was 10 foreign teams, this time it is 20 foreign teams, and I'm sure they think it may grow even to 40. As far as Indian teams are concerned, I am sure this thing, uh, there will be no team, no Indian team, which, have play, which is playing bridge and they have not come. That is one thing. But besides that, uh, luckily, we have got a very good quality-wise team from foreign, foreign countries. The, there is a junior team, okay, which has been, uh, you know, uh, they were the world champions also. There are uh, the top team, Lavaza, it contains uh, all the nearly all the players are world champions. There are all other such teams, like uh, this Jetherland. Jetherland is having three world champions right now. So like that, the quality itself is too great, okay. Besides that, we have uh, got Morton Bilde, who is supposed to be one of the topmost coaches of the junior team. So like that, you know, the quality of the teams which have come from there, 
it is very good and another good thing is that we have got teams from all uh, all parts of the world we have got a team from oceania uh, that is uh, australia and new zealand combined we have a team from new zealand and this uh, indonesia we have a team bangladesh local our this thing plus European champions and European teams are plenty. Iceland is there. We have got two, three teams from Denmark, two teams from Sweden. There are two teams from uh, Netherlands, which is considered to be the main hub of uh, bridge. Besides uh, HCL, there are uh, three, four more corporates who are already running a tournament and uh, they are doing a good job. But yes, HCL has been doing it in a grand level. That is one thing and uh, well, I am not saying this thing that everyone can take care of that way. But yes, being a good uh, sponsor, I, I think so. they are the, one of the top. And uh, that's why this great thing they are doing. What I think, because you see, I was outside India myself for a long time and I have seen a lot of foreign players also. I think so what we lack most, I suppose, is the clear instinct. That is the one part where we are loose. They should have the killer instinct that I have to be world champion that way. Unless until that is there, there may be problem. You take case of Kabaddi. Okay? Kabaddi was a well, a local sport. Everybody used to play. Okay? But it wasn't famous. Luckily, bridge actually, because being played by bureaucrats and all professional, that way it is more known. Okay? But the problem here is that you cannot enjoy bridge unless until you know bridge. But if media, more than the more than the sponsor, it is the media, I think, so which can play a better role. First of all, in telling everyone that it is not gambling, it is not a card game, but it's something my total mind-related game and should be used by kids for improving their ability. Bridge has given me a lot of friends, okay? And the one good thing about bridge is that uh, when I was mainly in foreign countries, I found out they say, okay, you are playing bridge, okay, to dimag hoga. I can only put it in this line that I can survive without eating, but I can't survive without bridge. <laughs>